Care Manager with Animal Ortho Care. Today we are going to talk about casting your dog for a custom knee brace. For all custom knee brace orders, we require you to take a cast of the dog's limb. So once an order is placed, we will first ship you a casting kit with a, with a bunch of materials. Once you receive the casting kit, you open that up and you'll find a casting kit card and this is all of the materials that you'll get inside the kit. Materials include casting tape, some gloves, a cut strip, stock net, cutting tool, and a measuring tape. What you will also need that is not included is going to be a bowl of room temperature water, a permanent marker, scissors, and a total of three to four people to help you cast. The quantity and um, type of items inside your casting kit will vary based on size of dog. So let's get started. We're first going to show you on how to cast your dog while laying down. To help the dog be restrained during the casting process while laying down, it is recommended that you have one person hold the, the two limbs that are closest to the ground and putting a little bit of pressure on that dog's shoulder. That helps keep the dog calm and from trying to stand up. Another person will need to be casting the dog. Another person will need to be holding the stockinette and the cut strip in place. And then you might want to have a fourth person up by the dog's head and just helping them remain calm, whether that be petting them or feeding them treats during that time. The first thing that we're going to do is you want to take that stockinette and we want to cut the top of the stockinette as this is going to help us pull that stockinette up even higher on that dog's thigh. And again, pull that stockinette all the way up. You can even flare up at the top to help cover that thigh even more. A little trick that can be helpful as well too is we need to remember to always keep that leg in that natural standing position. So that means that the leg is gonna be fairly straight and there's gonna be a, just a slight bend to the knee. You might need to put a little bit of pressure here at the thigh to help push that leg down a little bit more into that natural standing position. Once you have the stockinet on, put that cut strip on the side of the leg. Make sure that it's in front of the leg there so you can nicely cut down once we're finished. For the casting tape, you want to open them up one at a time as the air activates the tape just as much as the water does. So you only open up the tape when you're ready to use it. So we're going to open up this first roll here. Right away you want to duck it in the water, submerge it, squeeze it. Do that a few times. You have about three to five seconds total for that process. Make sure that tape is fully wet. It's best that you start casting underneath the hawk or that angle of the dog. Put your finger there to help get a good grip of that tape on the leg. We recommend first that you're doing three to four layers above and below that hawk first. Make sure that we keep that piece pretty solid. Okay, once we have that three to four layers, Keep going up on that limb. And then we're gonna do three to four layers total for the rest of the thigh, for that rest of the leg. While you're casting, make sure to wrap snug. If you don't wrap snug enough, the tape may not adhere back to itself. Make sure that you're casting as high as you can on that thigh. Again, we're going to submerge and squeeze that next casting roll about three to five seconds total. Start the next tape where you left off. And continue. 
continue to do your three to four layers. It's important that the cast is smooth as you're casting. You want little to no bumps along the way. Be careful too underneath that, um, underneath here that you're not going to get any hair uh, stuck in the tape that you're casting. All right, we've got our three to four layers. Take your hands and just really help contour that cast to the leg. Now that we're done casting, we're gonna allow it to set for about three minutes. Okay, it has been three minutes now. The cast is fully set. You wanna take that permanent marker and we want you to do a, a couple things. So here on the front of your dog's leg, if you feel and look at that cast, there's gonna be a top protrusion to that knee. So top of the knee. You can see that protrusion right here. And we're just gonna mark that. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna draw down that yellow cut strip here so that we have a nice line uh, to cut down and we know where we need to cut. And you wanna take that cutting tool, start at the top, and you're gonna cut down that line that you just made. helping to pet them, giving them treats, um, whatever you can do to help them stay calm during the process, which is gonna be about five minutes or so. First thing you wanna do is put the stockinette up on the leg of the dog. You gotta pull that stockinette as high as you can up on the thigh. You can even flare it up on top to help get it up a little bit higher, more around that thigh area for casting. If you've got a dog that has a lot of fur, uh, pull the stockinette out a little bit on the side to help those uh, hair pieces from coping through. If you've got the stockinette in place, put the cut strip along the side of the leg. When casting, you wanna open up one roll at a time as the air activates the tape just as much as the water does. So only open up the tape when you need it. So we're gonna open up the tape. Right away, you wanna dunk it in water. Give it a few dunks, bring it out, squeeze it a few times, maybe three to five seconds total for this process of dunking. Squeeze, give it a good squeeze. You wanna start underneath the hawk first. Put your finger here at the end to help keep the tape down as you're casting. You need three to four layers total of the cast. Go up and down that hawk area we recommend first. Make sure we've got enough layers there. All right, let's keep going up on the leg. Put 
While casting, you need to wrap the leg snug. If you don't do it snug enough, uh, the tape may not adhere back to itself. So give it snug all the way around. Got to cast as high as you can up on the thigh. Look to see where that groin area is. Get as high as you can. Put that there. Open up the second roll right away. Again, it's about three to five seconds in the water, giving it, bring it out. Give it a good squeeze before you start. Start where you ended. We're gonna start going back down now. Hold the end in place. Put a little bit of water on the cast. Next, you want to grab your permanent marker now that the cast has set. A couple things we want you to do with the permanent marker. First thing that we want you to identify is the um, top knee protrusion. Atlas here, you can see, has some prominent knee protrusions. There's a bottom knee protrusion right there and a top one. Um, so you want to identify this top knee bone, knee area right there. Mark it where that protrusion is. Next thing you want to do uh, is we recommend drawing a line down the cut strip that you'll follow as you're removing the cast and cutting down.